This is a perfectly ordinary suburban setting in a perfectly ordinary shopping strip. So this should be a perfectly ordinary fish and chip shop, but it isn't. What makes it different is a few minutes up the road, and I reckon it's fascinating. This is Budrum in the Sunshine Coast hinterland, about an hour and a quarter north of Brisbane. And this is the little farm that makes that fish and chip shop stand out from the seafood pack. There's 500 square metres of vegetables powering along. There's chooks and there's fish. But they're not for eating. Like everything else, they're only here because the fish and chip shop owner, Natapon Chumchujan, wants veggies as good as the ones he remembers from his childhood. In Thailand, you get food everywhere. Every day, my mom would take me to the market and then she would show me how to pick you know, the good vegetable, which one fresh, which one not, and we'll buy them, we'll bring them home, cook them, and it's just the flavor of the food, that beautiful thing about fresh produce, and then you, you're cooking them, it's just wonderful. 15 years ago, I came here, and you can only get from the supermarket. It's just not the same. It's got to be fresh. At the new venture, we start with the fish and chip. And to make it healthier, I think salad is a good option. So, and we don't want just to do an ordinary salad. We just want to make a good salad. Because I'm a chef, and if I can't get the ingredient that I need it, the only solution is just I just have to do it myself. And the best way from my personal view is the aquaponic. The system, first of all, is really sustainable use so much little water and you can produce a lot of food in a small area and it's organic and look how many things that we can grow in the one system. We've shown you aquaponic systems on the show before. Fish are kept in a tank and they of course excrete waste. This fish manure is nitrogen rich. Bacteria in the system convert that nitrogen into a form that plants can use as nitrate fertilizer, which fuels plant growth. And by taking the nutrients out of the water, the plants are purifying it. So the fish have lovely clean water to live in. That's it, you should get something now. Up, sit, that's it. Okay. In this system, Natapon is using an Australian freshwater native called jade perch, also known as the Barku grunter. That's, it. That's OK, baby. That's it. And how old are they? They're just, one, just over one year old. All right, one year. They can grow up to like three, four kilos easy. Wow. That big. That's big. Well, I will Lovely. let them go. Yeah, I'll let yeah. it go. There you go, baby. To create ideal conditions, Natapon and his wife Bella are growing everything indoors. In the greenhouse, first of all, I think it's good to protect your crops from all the insects, and then I don't have to worry if it's rain too much. Another thing is that we can actually climate control the greenhouse as well if we want to, so you can control your temperature, which means that I can grow everything all year round. Natapon has gone to good fresh produce because he is first and foremost a chef. But he also has an engineering background, which is certainly an asset if you're building an aquaponic system like this. He and Bella had to work long hours for a long time to afford the cost of setting it up, and they did much of the work themselves. Now, all that hard work is paying off. Ooh, bursting. That burst. <laughs> now, that is a really sweet, juicy, complex flavour. Yeah. What led you to choose this one? Well, this one, I just happened to eat them. I bought it from somewhere, and I came across one a long time ago. I liked them, so I, I might just keep one fruit, and I sort of plant them. And then from there, I've been using exact same plant, and then so these all came from one fruit? Yeah, from the one that I saved. So I don't even know what it's called, but it's good. We have it. 
And this is a soil-free system. The tomatoes are grown in gravel where the roots can get a foothold, but the leafy greens just float on rafts with their roots free in the nutrient-rich water. It's my babies. You can see um, they start off here. Bella gave birth to them all, so she's the one who started the, um, the planting and take about one to two weeks to get to about this size. And then from there, we plant them into the, our raft bed and it takes another two to three weeks until we start using them. So underneath here is just a continuing flowing water. So the root is going to submerge in the water all the time. That's why they're growing so quick from the time we drop the seed in. Four to five weeks maximum and we're ready to use them. So it's a lot quicker than growing on soil. So they're really living a good life. They are a perfectly very good, happy salad. Growing veggies on a scale like this produces a fair bit of green waste, which Natapon puts to good use. There we go. OK, there you go. You're breaky. <laughs> no fighting, no bullying. There's no waste in my restaurant. <laughs> It's time to head to the fish and chip shop and put this produce to good use. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Yep. Tell me, why did you call your business Farm Rack? Well, Rack me loves in Thai. So Farm Rack, Farm Love, uh, because love is the initiative of my whole operation, you know. The love for the environment, love for my customer. That's the beginning of everything. Well, here's the sharing the love, eh? <laughs> Enjoy, Jerry. Mm. 